Oh, it's been a minute since we've done a buffet and y'all are gonna like this spot. You're not gonna believe how cheap this place is. I'm not gonna tell you right off the bat. Oh, and just to clear up, this is a buffet barbecue, not a BB2, just to clear it up. Um, anyways, they open at five, not even at five o'clock yet. And there's so many aunties in here already fighting to get that first spot of the fresh food. <sighs> kind of bothers me because I'm competitive. I do have a saying when it comes to buffets. If you ain't first, you're last. So let's get in here. And just to clear up on the name, to bail, bail, like fat, right? So anytime you go to a place and you see bail, like in the name of the restaurant, probably like a 94% chance it's gonna be delicious. So you got what you wanna not just thinking about at the very end right here, right? Fruits, 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 and then corn, other things you can grill, things that aren't meat, like okay. that. So they got okra here, they got mushroom. Like, I didn't know you could grill cucumber, apparently you can grill cucumber, enoki mushrooms. But what you want is here. We got meat. We got fried food. Yeah, I'll break down the price of this place later. Maybe, maybe I've seen it. I have to blur it. So, first, looks like we got some beef here. We got like beef slabs. Looks like it's almost been spread with like the Vietnamese butter all over. Check it out. So you got beef wrapped in gnocchi. I like the move. It probably saves them some money because it's like mushroom and meat and pulls back on how much meat you consume. But I'm always like a meat and mushroom guy together. And other little things, they're cheap, but they're delicious. You got like little uh, gabine, so like fish cakes right here. Let's go to the other side, it's gonna be prettier. These are the aunties I'm fighting with over here. This whole big area of aunties is who we're gonna be fighting today for the buffet. So you got all the like fried stuff. You'll have like fish cakes. You have little sausages, little suksik. Oh, but they do have balalo, which is, that is clutch for me. Like the fact that you do something like that, something so tedious that takes so much effort and you got it at a buffet, we're gonna fill up on that. Uh, they got marinated beef, they got marinated pork. Looks like kind of like um, some type of intestine. I'm gonna guess it's a uh, root hail, I'll have to ask. And then we'll have like everything like pork on the bone. Got some type of like seafood here. Eggs, kimchi, chunga. So that's actually like the chicken feet. And you even get prawns, you can get some seafood here. All right, let's finish going through this. Another thing, easy way to fill you up, right? Got all the fried stuff. I don't know what this is, but it's actually got like a little piece of lemongrass on the inside. I'm gonna assume something kind of like a fish cake. <gasps> oh, I think it's fried squid. It looks like onion ring. My American Western senses want to tell me it's onion rings. Um, fried popcorn chicken. Somebody give me a guess. What the heck would that be? Something else fried. Mozzarella sticks, buns, and just what you thought you'd get at a Vietnamese buffet. Same as the buffet I hit back in America, right? You get fried sushi. Fried rice, fried noodles, and then condiment station. There's not enough time to figure out the logistics and stuff. We've got to hurry. People are piling on and people are coming in. It's five o'clock. So here you got chopsticks, cutters. Uh, what are these called in English? I don't know. It should be a rule. You can't do buffets by yourself. I should always have a friend when I do this. Look at this. Frozen big slabs of beef. I can't believe you get that much beef. Đây là rút heo hay cái này là gì? Cái này là lòng bò. À lòng bò. Rồi cảm ơn con nha. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm feeling the pressure. Everybody's beating me out here. Okay. You see the food, you see my plate, you've seen my table. Give me a guess. How much does this cost? Just give me a guess. We are wrong. To do the barbecue right here, the beef barbecue, 139. The drinks, which you get up there, you get as much as you want. They have like chasu and like chadao and things like that, 25K. And then each one of these is 3K. 139K for the barbecue. Isn't that insane? It's like $5, 550. And I think we're pretty secure for round one, so let's start it off. The thing is, nobody helps you here. I think it'd be very hard, but if they had just like a touch, I mean, just a touch of like herb here, I'd be perfect. Cause you got all this meat. And I just want to wrap it. 
and eat it. Like they had like some, just like raw garlic or something. Ooh, we, but I ain't complaining for $5 either. Ở đây có mấy chi nhánh? Dạ, có 6 chi nhánh Xem một cái chi nhánh nữa, chi nhánh nước buồn À, ừ Mai là xuất me bên em, Giang lên nước chung nha Ừ À And we're finally done It is cooked they were too nice, they were cooking. I told them, I was like, hey, don't worry. I got it. We're gonna cook this together, y'all. So, it's all ready to go. We've cut the fire off, because what we'll do is we'll eat this, and then we'll maybe get after some prawns. I don't know why I got vegetable. I guess that's part of why I like being in Vietnam. I love my vegetable. We got sand? Yeah, pretty good. Oh my gosh, so. This is the beauty, you get the wrap stuff, right? I'm actually gonna go. This kind of crazy. I got a balalo right here and a piece of pork belly wrapped together. I'm just feeling insane. And I grabbed the smallest lettuce leaf ever, wrap it, and now check out the sauces. Typical, just lovely Vietnamese green chili sauce. Got like a kumquat sauce. I got the just salt and pepper with a little tack because I'm just like OG like that. And I do believe this is a tamarind. I do not remember. And I'm gonna do the honorary thing and the thing we deserve right there. But he's lots of uh, sweet and condensed milk. So everybody has like a different sauce or a different way of making muyat san. But this one's got a lot, a lot, a lot of sweet and condensed milk in it because you can tell by that viscosity in it. Mm. I tell you the truth, that sauce is actually really good. It does have like a lot of sweet condensed milk in it. But there's a lot of green chili in it as well. Mm, if I had just a touch more salt in it, that'd be delicious. And check here, since I get through this, I actually got the salted egg yolk and some cheese as well. So I kind of want to get these heated up so I can dip my meat in this as well. But I feel they're going to yell at me. Because sometimes as a foreigner, they act like they don't know what I'm doing. So if I try cooking something, I think they go crazy. How about a little fish cake in the tak sauce, the kumquat sauce? Yo, that tack sauce, that tack, <laughs> that kumquat sauce is really, really good. I feel like you gotta have good sauces. If you got seven branches and you're selling a $5 barbecue buffet, the stuff you dip in, it's gotta be good. Those aunties over there be crazy. Yo, this tack sauce right here, oh my gosh. Yo, yeah, straight up, I would pay $5 just to come try the sauce. And this is where they get you. So much sauce, you're getting after it, you don't know what's going on, next thing you know, you got it everywhere, and you gotta pay 3K for a wet towel. Pork belly though, right there, in that tavern one. Look, I'll be honest with you. In Vietnam, sometimes we get some meat pieces where you gotta chew a little bit. I like to chew, sometimes I do, but this right here, had that melty component to it. Let's see if I was just lucky. Or if that's how it is. Okay. I ain't bad though. Look, I'll be honest with you. The beef got a little bit of that, that chew to it, right? Not my favorite, but man, again, when you put it in the sauce, all is okay. I'm doing this for everybody who's been in America been to a buffet, had fried sushi on a buffet, and loves Vietnamese flavors. Fried sushi into the green chili sauce here. Like, is there a sauce hall of fame? Because I feel like Mui, uh, San, should be in it. I need to talk to the committee. I'm putting in the ballot. I want the sauce in the Sauce Hall of Fame. I'm 
không sao không sao không sao anh chưa nhiệt <cười> make me so nervous they always come over here and they like stare at me I feel like I'm being judged <laughs> even though I know they just want to help what do y'all think pork and uh, salted egg yolk I've never had salted egg yolk and pork. I don't think I ever want to try it again. Surely like balalo and like cheese would be good, right? This should be better. You may be seeing a new dish out of Saigon soon, right? Balalo, phô mai. This is what the bread was for right here. Got pork belly, bánh mì. Oh my, cheese. Okay, look, I gotta try the mystery fried stuff. And then we'll get to the part I know y'all care about. Any, any idea? Orange liquid filling. Not, not, not what I was gonna guess. All right, boom, the part we're all waiting for. Got a big sucker here. Oh. Dang, look at them head juices. Mm. Honestly, I'm surprised by my, the amount of head juices was in that. You know what? Compliments to the chef. Hey, it ain't bad. If you can get as many as you want for $5, I'll tell you right now, that may be $4 worth the prawns right there in the US. <laughs> that was fun. I think it was really hard. I think I had the most fun talking with the workers there. The younger, the workers are all younger. Like today was some girl's birthday. She turned 17 and they're just, they're just really outgoing and a lot of fun. Uh, they're, they said they're all gonna follow me. I said, oh, y'all are gonna follow me like a herd of uh, buffalo just walking the countryside of Vietnam. It's really fun. Uh, it was good. Cannot believe 139K. That's crazy. Definitely worth coming out and trying if you just want a cheap buffet and get a lot of food. Six branches, so they're doing something right. Let's move it. Got